So recently I ordered some canned meats from CampingSurvival.com. Uh, I ordered some canned bacon, some canned pork chunks, and some canned beef chunks. And I wanted to kind of, this video is going to be going over the bacon. Uh, in the future though, I'm going to do a couple videos on the pork chunks. Might do some uh, green chili, something like that. Uh, and the beef, I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe a stroganoff, something like that. But I'm not going to use, you know, fresh vegetables. What I want to do is, is like a SHTF type situation. So I'm going to use some of the canned stuff that I have and see if I can do it with just some of the stuff that we already have in our pantry. Uh, but this video is just going to be the bacon. You can do all sorts of things with bacon. Um, it, you, you can eat bacon all by itself. Bacon is just wonderful. Uh, but I wanted to go over what this looks like, um, how good it is. I've already tried it. I know it's awesome. Um, the price is about $20 for one of these cans. Uh, and I wanted to compare what that is compared to bacon you would buy at the store. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and we'll check this out. And then in the future, we'll do some videos on these, these the beef chunks and the pork chunks. All right, so let's open up this, this canned bacon, heaven in a can is what I call it. Uh, first off, it comes and it's wrapped in this parchment paper, which you can kind of see. So it's basically, um, I'll pull it out and you'll see, but it's basically just rolled up bacon. Uh, but we'll take this out, maybe. Try to pull it out. Okay, so you can see it's got a few different layers on here and then it's folded in half. So my thing is I want to figure out um, how much bacon this equals compared to a package of regular bacon. Now, um, a package of say Oscar Mayer bacon, the, the uncooked bacon is about a pound and this says it's about nine ounces, but this is cooked, the, the cooked, poundage not the uncooked weight so um, what I figured was looking at some some packages of bacon they have about 15 slices per uh, per package of the Oscar Mayer brand bacon which isn't bad so with this with all of the slices on here so you can see one layer is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that's about one package so and if you add in a little extra right there so you've got one two, three packages. So this is about three packages of bacon. So the $20 price point for this isn't horrible when you consider how much it would be to, to buy three packages of bacon. Uh, it might be, you know, 12 bucks, 13 bucks. It really depends on where you live. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, it's more than this, but this is going to last. If you can see the expiration date here on the bottom, this says it lasts until 2-13, 2032. So, uh, you know, bacon in your refrigerator is going to go go bad pretty quickly. Uh, this right here, there's no way, well, I probably could eat all of this, but it's something that it, you would have to have a lot of, of people to eat this much bacon all at once. So uh, right now you could freeze it. You could always figure out stuff to do with this in the future. But if this is all you had, I don't think you would have any problem um, with people eating this whole damn thing all at once. So anyway, I, and I've tried this before. I'm not going to try it right now, but it, it, it is absolutely wonderful stuff. It tastes just like you would expect bacon to taste. There's no weird taste or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's exactly like you would expect bacon to taste. And you can do all sorts of, have BLTs, you know, if you've got chickens, you've got eggs, you've got bacon and eggs, uh, all sorts of different stuff. So I do really like the Yoder's bacon. Like I said, it's about 20 bucks a can. Uh, but you know what, if every, say once a month you buy another can, uh, you're good to go. The only problem is actually keeping these in our food storage uh, because they go pretty quickly. Uh, but that's these ones. Like I said, the next video, I'm going to be doing a video on these pork chunks and we're going to, I'm going to make some green chili just out of the canned foods that I have here at home. Some of the spices I have, and we'll see how well, how that tastes. I'll also try some of this without it in the green chili and just see, give you my thoughts on it. But uh, watch for that video. Make sure to subscribe below. You get notified when that comes out, and we'll talk to everybody later.